Hello everyone, welcome to Adventure Perspective. I've got something new to the channel and uh, I think it's pretty exciting. So let's go talk about it. All right, so what do we got here? We've got my original DPMS Sportacle, chambered in 762 by 51 That has been a great rifle so far. Reliable, totally functions, hits stuff pretty darn hard, and it's great. I've got uh, the whole thing sitting on my sand sock right there just real quick. It's not actually sand in there, it's rice. Rice totally works, guys. Don't doubt it. But I thought we'd talk about this rifle right here. I always thought I needed a companion rifle to the DPMS. So this is the Mossberg MVP Flex. And that's very important right there if you know anything about the Flex rifles. This one's chambered in 5.56. It's cheaper. I kind of wish it was chambered in 308, but you know, this works fine as well. Um, on top, it's wearing my center point scope, while the DPMS is wearing a Nikon. You can see that the Nikon doesn't have some of the features that the center point does, but it has better glass. So that's why I had it put on the DPMS because that's my main rifle. This is kind of my trainer slash buddy rifle. And what that means is if I take my friends to the range, you know, not everyone shoots like I do. Not everyone shoots long range. Some people just, you know, it's not their thing, but they want to try it. So if they want to give it a try, I'll give them this. Um, it's hooked up to my tripod here. Um, and the reason I don't have a bipod put on either of these rifles is because A, that one's not free floated, B, this one's not free floated, although I can do it with some sandpaper. You can see right there, I don't even have to try to make it look like it, it's definitely touching the barrel. I'm just gonna sand off a little bit there and it should be good. Um, but this system works out fairly well. Um, you can even fire from a sitting position using this tripod. Um, there's the name right there. I'll, I'll do a more detailed video about it anyway. So here it is in all its glory. I also got this because it folds, not really folds, but disassembles down to the same size as an AR-15. So all of this comes off. You lift this up, twist it, and the entire stock comes off. And I'll be doing a more detailed video on the MVP as well. But I just wanted to show you guys the uh, new gun in the family. Um, I did have to make some sacrifices for this that I kind of regret, but I'm totally happy to have this rifle in the uh, collection. You can see that uh, my bolt, for some reason it looks silver in the light. In real life it's black, so uh, I like it. It just keeps everything all black. Now I got this for 380 this is a, easily a $600 rifle. I got it for $380. And the reason I think so is because I think it's led a hard life. I think it was a truck gun or something because it has a bunch of gashes in it. There's one that you can see right there. And the stock is all jacked. For some reason, it doesn't even look black on video. In real life, it looks just as black as uh, the DPMS. But here it looks gray in the video. I don't know why. That's just the thing came with a recoil butt pad and the previous owner took off the traditional rifle stock and put this adjustable one on which is what I was looking for anyway so yeah this fits me that fits me everything's good I have to put a sling on it and I also figured out that P mags are the way to go over the uh, aluminum style magazines for AR-15s and it does take AR-15 style magazines with no problem the bolts a bit gritty but I don't mind it too much and uh, in the future I think I'll be doing uh, more videos with this uh, gun I uh, just got a bunch of ammo and stuff I'll be posting a video about that as well so for now I will see you guys later everybody you know adventuring is always fun just be safe out there be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos see you guys later